What's happening guys? Keith here with another Impact Wrestling Review. So, it was finally here, the Barbed Wire Massacre Part 3. Um, unfortunately, we had to get through a whole episode before we could get to that, and since it was originally supposed to be a part of the pop episode, um, they kind of had to scramble and we had a lot of filler. But... We opened the show with a very good match, which was the X Division Championship match with Taiji Ishimori defending his title against Desmond Xavier. Uh, this match was it was really good. Uh, what a great way to open the show. Um, it started off a little slow. Each person was fi feeling each other out, you know, kind of getting a feel for how the match was going to go. So they started out slow, wrestling a little more technical, and uh, then it just kind of jump-started from there. We uh, got some really cool spots. Uh, at one point, Desmond Xavier knocked Ishimori to the outside and then hit him with a suicide dive, which put Ishimori into the audience. Uh, Ishimori was able to get up, and he kind of started walking away from the audience to like an open part behind the barrier, and Desmond Xavier was in the ring at this time and ran and jumped over the ropes over the barricade into Ishimori. Uh, we saw Ishimori hit his head actually on the ground. So when he was back into the ring, he actually saw some blood on the back of his head. Uh, but yeah, what a fantastic spot. Really cool. Kind of reminds you of uh, back in the old ECW days where RVD jumped into the audience. I mean, this, that was a little different, but it, it was very similar. Uh, another really cool spot during the match was... Uh, Ishimori hit a stalling suplex on Xavier from the second rope. Just a really cool move. Um, and they, they kind of battle back and forth. You can see that both of them prepared for this match really well because they were able to counter each other's move. Xavier hit the final flash, and Ishimori kicked out right before three. Desmond Xavier started to get frustrated. Ishimori was able to capitalize hit him with the double knees, and then put him away with the 450 splash. Great opening match, great X Division match. Um, I'd love to see more between the two of them, so hopefully we get that down the road. Uh, up next, we have a video backstage, or wherever it was shot, of OVE basically saying that they're taking over everything. Then we get a part one of kind of a look through or look back at the feud between OVE and LAX. Uh, this was, I'm sure, probably part of the original show. But like I said, the barbed wire match was supposed to be originally part of the telecast. It was deemed too violent for pop TV, so they kind of had to throw a bunch of stuff in there. Um, after that, we got a look at American Top Team and their feud with James Storm and Moose. More stuff not needed but thrown in there. And then we had the Global Wrestling Network flashback where we looked back at the crowning of the first grand champion. Uh, they gave this, I think we saw, a major, I think the whole third round of the, the match. And this transitioned into the feud between Matt Seidel and EC3. So we got a look at that as well. Then we go backstage, and we have an interview with Mackenzie uh, interviewing Allie. And uh, Allie says, game time is over. And next week, she's taking the Knockouts Championship. She was saying that Laurel Van Ness has been playing a bunch of mind games with her. So that's why she said what she said. And up next, we have the match that was, I think, uh, made last week between Congo Kong and... And Chandler Park, Congo Kong had Jimmy Jacobs in his corner, with Chandler Park having Joseph Park in his corner. Uh, Chandler started off the match kind of ducking and running away from Congo Kong, but Congo Kong got some offense in and finished Chandler off pretty quickly. Um, I've been kind of a big, uh, <sighs> what do I want to say? I guess critic of Congo Kong. Um, I, I don't think... The character fits in in today's wrestling, kind of an old school character. Uh, I feel like there's so much more they could do with this character. I, I mean, I, I know they're going with the monster look, and Jimmy Jacobs is kind of the mind controller of the 
monster, uh, but I feel like they could just evolve the monster a little more. He's he's obviously a very good in-ring competitor. He moves very well. Uh, he ended up winning the match with a top rope splash to the ground. Oh, I'm sorry. He did not. That was after the match. Um, yeah, I think he put him away with some sort of slam. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'd like to see a little more out of Congo Kong. Maybe they will get some sort we will get some evolution of this character with Jimmy Jacobs behind the driver's seat. After that, we have the triple threat match in Border City Wrestling with Johnny Impact, Eli Drake, and Alberto El Patron. So yeah, this 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 was something. Um the ropes were kind of dangling from the turnbuckles. They were just just literally hanging down. This was not a, a good look for the promotion. And, I mean, I kind of... Kind of a bad look for Impact here. This was almost like... Was that a couple weeks ago when we saw the WrestlePro video that was poorly shot? Um, this one... The ring was poorly constructed. Like I said, the ropes were dangling, very loose. Anytime somebody moved across the ring, the whole, the ropes would just be flopping everywhere. <laughs> um, and uh, so it, it was very distracting, I, I would say, from the match. Uh, the match that they put on, though, was good. It, it was, I'm sure it was very fun to be there in person uh, as a televised match. I don't know how, how well it, it translated onto TV. But uh, basically, each one went for a cover, and then the one there was one person on the outside, so they would pull the referee out. This happened for all three competitors. The referee got sick and tired of it. Impact, Alberto, and Eli all super kicked the referee, knocking him down. Another referee comes out. Um, I think Eli went for a pin, got a near count, then he got into this referee's face. He ended up hitting this referee with the gravy train, and then all of a sudden the locker room comes out and all hell breaks loose. So it was uh, it, it was an interesting match. So up next we have Rosemary versus Casey Spinelli. Uh, this was a decent match. Um, Casey Spinelli was able to counter two red weddings in the beginning of the match. Uh, she got a near fall. She was arguing with the ref, Spinelli that is, about it. Being a th should have been a three count, uh, Rosemary fakes her out with the mist. Uh, Spinelli kind of like backs up from it, and then Rosemary hits her with the red wedding for the three count. After the match, she cuts a promo about the knockouts title match next week with uh, Laurel Van Ness against Allie. Well, she first says that she has to respect Laurel for what happened in the finals of the tournament to crown the the champion uh, when she was blocked the mist with her hands um and then she says that you know if ally wins it our paths may have to cross and i'm coming for that championship and then out of the crowd she gets attacked by hania um the two of them battle it out they kind of go up the ramp hania hits a spine buster onto the entrance ramp throws her into the steps and then drops her on top of the steps and uh that was her debut so up next, we have part two of the LAX and OV video montage. Look back at their feud. And that is where, well, we get the entrances for both LAX and OVE. And that's where the pop TV uh, feed cuts out. And we have to kick it back o or over to Twitch. Uh, so what I noticed was that there was about 10,000 people watching it. I don't know what the final numbers was. It was just at one point in time, I had looked at the little ticker showing how many people were watching it but uh this was exactly what we expected um it was crazy but it was awesome I'm not really going to go through the entire match just kind of give you guys some highlights of uh some of the big spots that happened uh we first started with uh santana well actually ov goes to the outside santana jumps over the barbed wire on top of him Callahan and Homicide are in the ring. Both have forks in hands. Uh, attempt to stab each other in the forehead, but uh, Callahan eventually ends up throwing uh, Homicide into the barbed wire ropes, and then Homicide gets his revenge, and Callahan goes into the ropes. Uh, we saw Dave, I believe, 
get thrown into the corner, so he had a nice gash on his hand, uh, on his arm. Um, I think Santana went in after him, or is or yeah, it was, or was it Ortiz? I think it might have been Ortiz actually. Uh, at one point, uh, I think Homicide had a, a bottle of rubbing alcohol and he dumped it on Dave's open wound, so he did not find that too enjoyable. We saw Jake Chris get suplexed through a barbed wire board on the outside. Um, Callahan drops Homicide on top of the barbed wire rope. He kind of spills to the outside. They have to cut the barbed wire off of him. Um, then Ortiz drops Jay Christ on top of the barbed wire rope. He gets tangled up. They cut one side, roll him up in it, and cut the other side. Um, let's see what else. What happened? Oh, Ortiz picks him up and drops him on the barbed wire board while wrapped up. Uh, go for a pin. Jake's able to kick out. Uh, they battle back and forth, and Jake spears Ortiz through a table set up on the outside, kind of from the ring in, onto the table. Uh, Dave hits Santana with a pair of bolt cutters. Sammy tombstones Santana onto the barbed wire chair and board that was set up in the ring. Uh, Santana kicks out at two. Uh, Dave brings a ladder in the ring while Sammy has two tables set up. Uh, they lay Santana on top of the tables. Uh, Dave brings a ladder into the ring. Um, Dave goes up the ladder. Conan comes in the ring and with a barbed wire bat, he takes out Sammy. Santana and Dave battle up the ladder and Santana, I guess, pulled him out of his pocket, but he had a bunch of skewers and he stuck him on top of Jake's head and started hammering him in. So he moved his hand away, and they were just standing there as Dave's, like, you know, convulsing in pain. And then uh, he gets Dave gets superplexed through the table, pins him. That's the final. Uh, this was a great match. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, and definitely seems to be a really good way to transition over to the Twitch channel. There was no issues with it. Um, as far as quality wise and yeah aside from the filler that they unfortunately had to do in this match or in this match in the show it, it was a really good show overall um well i should say the two matches were really good the rest was it, it was it was filler um and then next week we have the genesis show and that's featuring Moose versus Lashley, Matt Seidel versus EC3 for the Grand Championship, Ali versus Laurel Van Ness for the Knockouts Championship, and Johnny Impact versus Alberto El Patron versus Eli Drake inside a steel cage for the Global Championship. So it should be a pretty big show. I believe this is the last show before the new set of tapings takes place. And that is that. I hope you guys enjoyed my review. I will see you Saturday for the Impact Report, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.